Here in Lightroom, I'm gonna choose the adjustment brush, and from the adjustment brush, I'm gonna define the size and the feather of the brush tip. I'm gonna increase the brush size and soften the brush tip a little bit. And I will start painting onto the beach. Notice that everything immediately turns pitch black. That's because currently my settings for the adjustment brush is set to exposure negative four. I can increase the exposure and immediately it will only apply to the beach. You notice though that certain areas of the beach here have very sharp edges. That is because when I've used my adjustment brush just now, I didn't turn off the auto mask. Auto mask can be useful sometimes, but in certain other cases can create this kind of weird looking effect. So in this case, I'm gonna redo the painting, but this time I want to remove and turn off the auto mask. Now I'm ready to paint one more time. I take the new adjustment brush and then start painting onto the beach. Notice everything turns black and I don't have that kind of feeling around the stones when I increase the exposure because this time I did not paint using the auto mask. Now the next thing I want to do is to create a new brush. So I'm gonna click here on the top right and choose new and create on the C another adjustment brush. Once I've selected all the C broadly, then I'm able to edit the exposure. I can also apply a color. I have to click this switch box here first and choose one of the colors. I'm gonna choose a color that looks like the C, like a bluish or a greenish, and then I can increase the saturation here. And I can also change the exposure and I can change the clarity or the sharpness of the sea to increase the number of little waves and details onto the water. I can check how it was before and how it looks now just by clicking this turn off adjustment brush. I notice that this part, this corner of the picture is still quite dark. I want to edit that one again. I'm gonna create a new adjustment brush. I'm gonna click on new and then paint only the corner here. Automatically will turn everything dark because my settings here is, is currently saying negative four in terms of exposure, but when I increase the exposure, I will only edit the corner here. Now I've got three brushes that are working. One is working only on the corner, the, the other one on the rest of the beach, and another one only onto the sea. I can hover my mouse quickly onto each brush and it will tell me exactly which area they are affecting. If I want to compare before and after, all I need to do is to come to this turn off brush adjustment and then compare before and after, before and after. One last touch up would be for the sky. In this case, since it's just linear, it doesn't have to be painted accurately, I will choose another tool, which is the graduated tool. When I click the graduated tool, I have just to click and drag from one side to the other of, of the picture. The 50% of my graduated filter will be almost at the horizon. I will change the exposure a little bit. In this case, I want to colorize the sky, so I select a color, I choose, for example, a reddish color, and then I decide also to increase the contrast so I will see more details in the clouds. I will also increase the clarity and the sharpness so the sky become very, very crispy. The clouds become very crispy and very sharp, full of details as I like it. And then I will click done and I'm done. I can compare before and after just by clicking this little icon on the bottom left. There you go, before and after, just one beside the other. I can see it one beside the other horizontally or just split it into halves or one on top, one below. Again, half below and half on top just by clicking four times our icon to uh, display before and after. When I want to go back to the actual view, I will click loop view down here or the shortcut on my keyboard would be D 